Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be counting down the top five ways to blow up your engine management system. Number five. If you've got a big red key or a battery isolator switch in your street car or your race car, by turning this key off while the engine is running, you're essentially removing the battery altogether. By removing the battery, we're essentially removing the electrical surge tank and we're leaving the engine management system and the electronics in the car subject to high voltage spikes. This is a great way to blow up your ECU. Number four. Working on the wiring on your car with the ignition turned on. Please make sure that when you're stripping wires, when you're splicing, when you're soldering, when you're crimping, ignition off, your ECU will thank you. Number three. Leaving exposed wiring in your wiring harness after you've finished wiring the car. If you look at your wiring harness and you've got exposed wire hanging out the end of unused wires, either remove those wires or put a bit of heat shrink over them or at very least, make it so there's no copper conductors hanging out. Please don't join all of these wires together as this is a surefire way to blow your ECU. Number two. Joining wires with different voltages together. For example, here I've got a five volt, an eight volt, and a 12 volt wire. If we join an eight and a 12, if we join a five and a 12, or if we join a five and an eight, there's a good chance the power supply on your ECU will be blown up. Number one. And now to number one on our list, jump-starting your car. If you're jump-starting your own car or your friend's car, when you're using your leads, remember black to black and red to red. I know this seems really obvious, but we get so many phone calls for this. If you join red to black and black to red, that's a surefire way to blow up your ECU. So just remember, negative to negative, positive to positive, black to black, red to red, and you'll be right. Okay, we've made it through the list. So now, one final piece of advice. Your engine management system is a complex electronic device. It's got a bunch of power supplies, microprocessors, and wires. But if you install your engine management system correctly, if you take care of your wiring, there's absolutely no need to worry about your engine management system blowing up. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott, and we'll see you next time.